Okay. Today we are going to do Gatina. What is this Gatina? Gatchina is a city located 42 kilometers away from St. Petersburg. To get there, you need to go to Baltiska metro station and then come to Baltiski train station and buy a ticket in the aftermath or in the app. It costs around 100 to 150 rubles and the train comes every one or two hours. It takes about one hour to get there. But what is Gatchina? Gatchina was the residence of a monarchy, Catherine the Great or Catherine II, who was the Empress of Russia in the 18th century, gifted this place to her lover. She loved making a great gifts for her lovers. And then, when he died, she gifted this place to her son. From then, it passed down by an inheritance. Here, members of Russian imperial family could rest and enjoy the nature, the great garden and the earth. By the way, it's Vika, my close friend, and my name is Lina. I'm a cinematic photographer from St. Petersburg, and together we travel around exploring beautiful and interesting places to take pictures and rest from big city life. It's a train station. Russian winter fairy tale. On our way to park, we saw some old buildings, which were mainers' houses, but we just call them Dutch. And I took a little bit rather bleak picture of the real Russian winter. We finally arrived. It is a castle. Yeah, brother. Our first stop was the Priory Palace. It's not very big, but it has an interesting history. The Priory Palace is unique, the only palace in Russia which built out of earth. The knights, hospitalers, asked Paul I, son of Catherine II, for help, and he decided to build them a castle, where he and the boys could meet and hang around in summer. But knights actually never used it. Then we took some pictures near to the Black Lake, which reminds me of the Twilight, Sleepy Hollow, Twin Peaks, or the Rusty Lake. Hi! Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful. I really love fog, but I didn't expect it in winter. At the second location, the Great Gatchina Palace combines classical architecture and vamps of a medieval castle with ornate interiors typical of Russian classicism. <laughs> so empty. So, no one is here. Maybe it's a cost of the weather. Celebrated architects such as Antonio Rinaldi and Vincenzo Brenna took part in the construction and reconstruction of the palace, so it looks really impressive and majestic. Inside it also looks very adorable, however we didn't have any energy left to go in, so I'll just pick some paintings from the public archives. Since the February Revolution in 1917, it has been a museum and public park and receives UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 1990. Nearby were a huge, great public park where Empire family members love folk, and in the right season it still looks amazing, so if you have time, you should visit it. Mother Russia winter doesn't feel sorry for anyone, so you would be better off having some warm tea with you and a pair of winter boots, which I hadn't. So we went from train station here to palace here and got cold, so by this time our journey was over.